world today. How many times believer Christians have to run to them for spiritual consultation when we are faced with trials of life, when our faith is shaking and our trust in the Lord is at its lowest ebb, we forget the anointing in us. We run back to these false prophets, to these soothsayers, to consult. Should I still remain in the ministry? Should I still continue to be a pastor? Can you imagine? Our parents did this, and there's no use denying it. Amen. But we thank God today, through grace in Jesus Christ, the salvation we have received at our baptism is now being manifested in us. Amen. And I pray to God, we will not go back again Amen. to serve the other gods. And this is why the Lord told Nicodemus in John 3, 3 to 7, Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, <laughs> Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Amen. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. What does it mean to be born again? It is a common statement in the lips of every Christian believer. And some claiming to be born again. But in real sense, they do not even know what it means to be born again. And these are wishy washy Christian. The born will rule Christian. Yet it asks what the term born again means. Most church members could not give a clear explanation. The importance of this subject is shown in what Jesus said. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 3, 3. Jesus is saying that to be born again is to be saved. Being born again is the plan of salvation that Jesus authored at Calvary. It is imperative that we understand what is required for us to be born again. All agree that when Jesus went to the cross, he brought in the means of salvation for everyone who will accept it. But what will really happen at Calvary? What can he do for me? How do I accept what was done there in my own personal life? At Calvary, there were three steps to the work of Christ. One, death. Second, burial. And third, resurrection. Okay. As read in 1 Corinthians 51 4, it's very easy to see that these three steps make up the act of being born again, spoken of by Jesus. To die, to be buried, and to rise again. That is, to be born again. So we see that Jesus, through his death, through his burial and his resurrection, but for us the plan of being born again spoken of in John 3:3, 3, 3, we are by we receive our salvation. Amen. The fact that Jesus purchased the plan of salvation for us is the greatest news the world has ever received. The thing we must understand is that not only was it necessary for Jesus to do something. But also it is absolutely essential for us to act upon it. Amen. To act upon what he did. Jesus told Nicodemus, ye must be born again. There are no tricks to spiritual guidance. All it takes is being in full and close relationship with God. Amen. No matter what difficulty or trial we may be going through, 
We must hold fast to our faith. Have you not forsaken God to seek salvation from pagan gods who have eyes but cannot see? And have ears but cannot hear? Or depend on our earthly possessions? Like the scripture says in Psalm 115, 7 to 8. Our God is in heaven. You don't go whatever places him. But their idols are silver and gold made by human hands. Yes. They have mouths but cannot speak. Eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear. Noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel. Feet but cannot walk. Nor can they utter a sound with their throats. Those who make them will be like them. And so we all who trust in them. May God never let that be our portion. Yeah. Through wisdom and guidance. Can only be found in the Lord. It's like when we know someone very well. We can guess what that person will do in a given situation. A child might think, what will mom want me to do here? A wife might think, what will my husband want me to do in this situation? Oftentimes, they get right because they have a big close relationship with each other. By the same token, if we are committed to building an intimate relationship with God and know God very well, and know his word, then we'll be able to know God's will in most situations. It will be clear to us without even asking the cause, the comforter. We have established his seat in our hearts and we guide us because he is the spirit of truth. Amen. As the Bible says in 1 John 2, 27, but you have received the Holy Spirit and he lives within you. Amen. So you don't need anyone to teach you what is true. Yeah. For the scripture teaches you everything you need to know. And what it teaches you is true. It is not a lie. Yeah. So just as he has taught you, remain in fellowship with Jesus Christ. Amen. May God of our fathers bless each and every one of us hearing these messages this morning. Amen. It shall be well with you all. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. 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 Let us give Reverend Lee with a big hand of applause for our powerful message.